I'm Dave Kassler, Amateur Radio Call Sign KE0OG. In my last video, episode 49, I reviewed the BITX40 single sideband QRP rig transceiver from an on the air point of view. I mentioned that I had real issues with what I call the galloping VFO problem. Normally, the VFO increments in 100 Hz steps and the VFO tunes across a 50 kHz band segment. However, when the VFO control reaches its limit, either on the high or low side, it suddenly starts galloping up or down the band in 10 kHz steps. This occurs abruptly and without warning, and by the time I've noticed this, I've lost the station I was tuning in. The drawing on the left shows the standard hookup to the VFO potentiometer. The pot works as a voltage divider. Supply voltage is applied at the top of the pot and ground at the other. The wiper therefore senses a higher voltage when tuned up and a lower voltage when tuned down. This goes to the Raduino board which acts as a voltage controlled oscillator. The Raduino is set up so that when the voltage is high enough, the VFO switches from 100 Hz per step to 10 kHz per step, a factor of 100 times faster. Similarly, when the voltage is low enough, the VFO jumps to stepping down at a 10 kHz per step rate. You can see why I call it the galloping VFO problem. Now, in the drawing on the right, I've added a fixed resistance at either side of the pot. By the way, I had to experiment to come up with these values. This way, when tuned all the way up, the voltage the VFO sees is not quite high enough to start galloping up at a fast rate. Similarly, when tuned down, it doesn't quite hit a low enough voltage to start galloping down. This makes tuning ever more comfortable, knowing I won't suddenly lose the station if I accidentally cross the galloping threshold. But the VFO can only cover a 50 kHz wide band segment. There are times when you do want it to go up or down in 10 kHz increments so as to cover the entire 40 meter voice band segment. So I attached a push button that will short out the added resistance. For example, if the potentiometer is turned all the way up, pressing the top galloping enable button allows it to go up in 10 kHz steps. Similarly, if the pot is turned all the way down, pressing the bottom galloping enable button allows stepping down in 10 kHz steps. Let's see how this works. I've mounted the gallop down button here and the gallop up button here. In normal mode, when the frequency pod is turned all the way up, it simply stops there. While it's in the max position, a single press of the button allows it to go up 10 kilohertz. I can go up one increment at a time or by holding it down, gallop up quickly. Similarly, when I tune all the way down, I can gallop down by pressing this button. Given that the VFO tunes a 50 kHz band segment, if I only go up or down a step or two, I can easily keep track of where the station of interest is. I mentioned in my operations review that the galloping VFO was a showstopper for me. But with this relatively simple mod, it's much easier to use and I don't have to worry about my QRP horse suddenly galloping when it had been at a slow walk. I'm much happier with it now. My next step is to learn more about the software in the Arduino and how I can modify it. Again, there's ample information on the BITX group at the URL shown on the screen and in the text below. Please click like and please subscribe. Check out the Ask Dave playlist and my website's tip jar. The early bird catches the worm, which is great if you like worms. Leave a comment, ask a question. Until next time, 73.